How's it going guys? Today we are going to be installing Windows Subsystem for Linux, which is basically just going to let us run Linux on our Windows PC. We are using Windows 11 and the Linux distribution that we're going to be using is Debian. There is a link in the description to a text tutorial, which includes all of the Linux commands that I typed during this video. So if you want to be able to just copy and paste that, I recommend checking it out. All right, hopping right into it. The first thing we can do here is open up command prompt. I'm going to be running this as an administrator. And I'm going to make the text a little bit bigger for you so that it's easier to see. We're going to be installing WSL and our distribution all on one line here. So we can type WSL space dash dash install space dash D space Debian. If you want a different distribution, this would be the time to say that. And just give this a minute while it loads. It shouldn't take too long. After it's done installing, it will ask you to restart your whole device. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And when I come back into things, a pop-up window should pop up and show the finishing installation of Debian. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my screen recorder to start quick enough upon startup. But yes, this window did just pop up for me. And it's now prompting me to enter in a new Unix username and password. If it doesn't show up for you, no worries. Just hit your Windows Start key and search for whatever distribution you downloaded. As you can see here, Debian is now an application I can click on. If I were to click on this, it should. It should theoretically take me to the same window, finish the installation, and then prompt me for a username and password. I'm just going to enter in my username and password here this can be whatever you want you're making it so it doesn't really matter after that's all done you'll be logged in and you can use simple Linux commands like LS or LS-A so the next step is going to be of course installing bun so I'm gonna to try to just install it using curl even though I know it won't work this curl request command can be copied and pasted directly from their website or my written tutorial which again is in the description but of course like i said it doesn't work assuming you're running into the same issue here it can be fixed pretty easily by saying sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade once that's all done we need to get the actual curl package so we're going to say sudo apt git install curl And then I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to copy that curl request again from their website. And I am also going to restart my command prompt. So we're going to type in WSL. Before we can install bun, we have to do one last little install. So we're going to say sudo apt install unzip. And you're going to type in your password. I know it's going to say I already have this installed, but you likely won't. So I would recommend doing that. And then we can paste that curl request and we should start installing bun. And then to start using it, I'm gonna first remove an existing folder that I have. I'm gonna say rm-r bun. You don't have to do that. You probably don't have a folder called bun. I just made that myself. And then I'm gonna recreate that folder by saying mkdir space bun. I would recommend that you make the folder as well, or you know, you make some kind of a directory where your bun files will go. It really depends on what your use case is here though, but this is good just for testing purposes. And then we can CD into bun and we can say touch test.js and then we can open that up in a text editor. And let's just console log something. Let's say hello world bun. And now when we type bun test.js, it should work. And it did work, awesome. And just so you know, this can also be ran from the terminal if you hold control and press tilde, and then you just say WSL once again here, and then we can just run it the same way. Awesome. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, let me know. And if you have any questions or it's not working for you, let me know that too. I know that sometimes getting these systems set up can be a real pain. Hopefully this makes it a easier and smoother process for you. 